Do you want to learn how to stop the feeling of not being good enough? If yes, then watch the video. Do you feel less than others? Do you feel not good enough when you see other people more confident, more um, successful than you are? The feeling of not being good enough, less than others, it is a feeling that we all can relate to. All people had experienced this feeling. So if you have ever thought that this is just you who feel this way, let me tell you that you are not the only one. This is something that I have struggled for years. And I want to point that sometimes, but very, very, very rarely, this feeling comes back. But now I don't let the feeling to control me, to stop me from doing the things that I want to do, from living the life that I want to live, the life that I deserve. In this video, I want to share with you some ideas on how to overcome the feeling of not being good enough. The things that I will share with you helped me overcome the feeling of not being good enough. And the first thing is to identify your beliefs about yourself. What do you think about yourself? How do you feel about yourself? I want you to ask yourself, from where do you think these beliefs, these feelings are coming from? Most of our beliefs are formed since we were very small since when we were kids from the negative past experiences from people around us from environment from teachers from media and if you had experienced more of the negative things in your life the same like me then there are many chances to have limiting beliefs about yourself about other people and how the world works so try and think did something happen in your life that could contribute to you feeling not good enough? This is a very, very important step if you want to let go of the limiting beliefs that are holding you back. And I'm sure that you notice that this negative belief, limiting belief is not helping you. So you need to work on letting it go. When you realize what could contribute to make you feel not good enough, I want you to challenge the belief, to ask yourself. First of all, ask yourself, what is something bad that happened in my childhood that made me form this belief about myself? And then ask yourself, is it really true? Is it really too, true because uh, of what happened in the past? Uh, because of, let's say, that person told me that I'm ugly. Is it really true that I am that ugly? Is it really true that I'm not likable? That I'm not good enough? Ask yourself how these beliefs make me feel. How these beliefs make me act around others. And ask yourself how keeping these beliefs will help me. And you will see that they won't. So you need to work on challenge those beliefs and let go. Let go of the, the things that happened in the past. Another idea is to work on feeling good about yourself. Work on feeling good about yourself, not making other people to like you. Don't do the mistake many people do. They believe that if they impress other people, then they will feel good about themselves. They will feel good enough. I won't lie and I will tell you the truth. Yes, you will feel good enough. But when those people will stop making you feel good enough, your feelings of not being good enough will show up again, will come up again. The problem with this method, it is that it works as long as people don't reject you, don't criticize you or treat you in a bad way. The right way to feel good about yourself is to impress your subconscious mind by doing the things that you have avo avoided doing, by telling yourself different things, more positive things, more helpful things, empowering things about yourself, about your abilities which lead me to the next idea 
and uh, the idea is to get into the habit of using positive empowering words when talking to yourself you need to get into the habit of using positive self-talk you need to get into the habit to talk to yourself the same way you will talk to someone you love someone you care about why do you need to get into, into this habit because your mind is always listening your mind is always listening to what you tell yourself and what you tell yourself can be in your favor or not the good news is that you can choose what to tell yourself yes you have this huge power the power of choosing so in order to change the way you think and feel about yourself you need to tell your mind empowering things you basically need to work on reprogramming your subconscious mind and i have a video on how you can do that and i will leave the link in the description you work on reprogramming your mind don't expect other people to make you feel good enough worthy enough no choose to feel good enough choose to let go of the need from other people to tell you things that you can tell yourself that's all for today's video i hope you find something uh, useful i hope you like it and i hope that you will apply at least one idea starting from today if you like the video give a thumbs up and share it take care